Stop losing your marks because of your calculator in the exam. I'm going to show you five classic mistakes that students make with their calculators and how you can avoid them. Sometimes people are not buying the calculators recommended by the exam boards, but you can still use them, but make sure you do it correctly. So take a look at this one here, the square root of 25 plus 11. They press square root, they do 25, and the other calculators sometimes go out. So then when the students press plus, 11 can you see here that this 11 is not inside that square root so this would not be correct not give you the answer that this is supposed to give what you should be doing is like this square root of 25 plus 11 it needs to be underneath and then you can press equals and the answer is six the next one is trying to do a sum like this a calculation like that what students often do the mistake is they will press 12 plus 8 and then divide by 4 like this so 12 plus 8 and then divide by four. This is not correct. Now, if you look at here, the answer is 14. And we're gonna check this by doing it the proper way, which is if you don't wanna use a fraction, make sure the top goes inside a bracket. So bracket 12 plus the eight, close bracket, then you can press your divide by four. And the answer, can you see here, is five. So previously, it was a totally different answer. Now we're gonna double check this by using the fraction. So fraction, then you can do 12 plus the eight, and then go down, and divide by four. Now the answer was five. The answer here is five. So can you see that very first answer? This calculator didn't even do it correctly. The next one is trying to work out something like this, where you're finding an angle. What students often do is they press sign and then 0 0.6. The answer is wrong here. This needs to go as an inverse. So you press shift, inverse of sign, 0 0.6. And that is the correct answer. The most common one, degrees and radians. Let's say you look at your calculator and it's in a different mode, radians, then you don't want that. So to change that, press shift, press two, and then press one for degrees. And as you can see, it's been changed. And that's what you want to work with. And finally, the last one. Now this can also appear on a non-calculator paper as well, but I'll just quickly tell you what the common mistake is. Students do five times three, and then they press square, as you can see, it gave the answer 45, which is actually correct because this calculator did manage to work this correctly. What I see students often do is they do five times three, get the answer, and then they square it, which is wrong. So you need to make sure you don't do that. You don't do five times three, get the answer 15, and then square it. This is wrong. This three is being squared first, and then after that, times by five. So you can do it like this using brackets. So you do five, bracket, three, squared, and as you can see, the answer is 45. I hope these helped you. Let me know in the comments what was new for you.